Ladies and gentlemen, this battle is three five-minute rounds in a catchweight bout. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of seven wins and six losses. He stands 174 centimeters tall and weighs already 67 kilograms. Representing All Stars Training Center Sweden and GBG Gothenburg by way of Mexico. Give it up for Arturo El Moreno Chavez. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of six wins and no losses. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighs already 67 kilograms. Representing Monster House, Goyang, South Korea. Give it up for Aries Tai Hyun Kim. Your referee is the bandit, Decky Larkin. The one, the only, Decky the Bond at Larkin is the man in the middle for this intriguing matchup. Tycoon Kim taking on El Moreno. Unst Deal of the tape. Tycoon Kim a little bit taller. Unstoppable versus immovable. Here we go. You got a little bit of an insight early on into the game plan of Moreno. Go to the body with the jab, land heavy hooks. Maybe straight to the body, come up with that nasty left hook that does concussive damage. But Tycoon Kim, almost like a, a Korean Diaz brother, happy to pepper his opponents with shots. It's the accumulation of damage that really was difficult for Eric Indio Brabal da Silva. Phil Arturo Chavez very wisely going down to the body a little bit. Wasn't a liver shot, but still it's money in the bank. There it is again. He's having some luck with it. You're gonna see it continue does have very, very smart boxing, does Arturo Chavez, but you show me a, a Mexican fighter that doesn't have clean boxing, then. Just pressured against the cage right now. Aries putting that pressure on Chavez. Again, the clinch game so draining and difficult in professional mixed martial arts. Aries showing a little size and reach advantage here, Phil, but it doesn't matter when you're fighting Arturo Chavez. It doesn't matter if you're bigger than him. He's that tough. As we said, undefeated, but caught with an overhand coming in. Chavez doing a good job of circling. Needs to be careful not to circle too far into that right hand of Aries. Nice stiff jab from both men. But it's that on, on Aaron Cam from Tycoon Kim that fighters have a lot of difficulty with. He's happy just to, to stay inside his own punching range, lean back ever so slightly and come back. I think we're seeing the difference in experience having an effect here, Phil. I think Chavez is much more calm here, having fought for many more years and many more fights. As you say, Chavez, that type of fighter that's happy to, to eat a shot, to land a shot, because he has so much faith in his chin. Kim doesn't quite have his feet under him yet, doesn't quite have his range down. Tycoon Kim, I think, is just starting to, to rub up that nose of Chavez. And Chavez is always in a fight, always replying with something, regardless of what he's been hit with. 2018, he was a coach of the Mexican IMAF team, so has spent a little bit of time here in Bahrain, this being his first time competing. Aries starting to measure his opponent. You can see Chavez just trying to, to dip that head, but gets caught with a lead hook by Tycoon Kim. We're starting to see Kim get his timing, Phil. Chavez. If he manages to do it, there, there it was with that straight left. Chavez trying to come over the top, but big shot eaten by Chavez. Has the double under hooks, or sorry, has that over under position. Needs to be wary of initiating the clinch because he's just eating those pity pot shots. Like I said, a Korean Diaz brother. Can Chavez rally a little bit? And again, it's, it's fights that we've seen Chavez turn into real ugly dog fights where he seems to edge the ascendancy. Absolutely, Phil. His, 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 look at that, spin kick on a Korean. 
That was awesome. But yeah, Arturo Chavez is when his when his toughness comes into play when he simply stands and trades with his fighters that's absolutely when he shines brightest there are few tougher than Chavez he was actually training for a fight at a catch weight of 63 kilos that got cancelled then he got the call to fight Tycoon and came on relatively short notice and of course he said yes this is the kind of guy that just loves the fight loves to show what he's made of and when lose or draw you end up having increased respect and admiration for Chavez he signed a contract to fight Godzilla Phil <laughs> He probably went around too. A good decision, but I think he'd went around. Nice step and job from Taiku and Kim right in front of us here in a broadcast position. Kim not altering his style because he is starting to find his range. Using that superior length, hands are starting to land. Chavez needs to circle just a little bit more from me. He can't be a static target for those long limbs. Goes for the head kick, caught off to the gloves of Taiku and Kim. And that lead hand from Chavez. Does he dive in? A little slip there from Tycoon Kim, who bounces back up to his feet. Chavez wasn't really able to, to capitalize there at all. Very quick stand in base. I would not be surprised if this fight stays off the mat for the entire duration. Tycoon Kim has the, the arms connected here. 10 seconds left in what's been a very interesting match so far. Also scope here for a little bit of foot stomp should either fighter. Uh, Interesting round, Phil. As you said, clearly 10-9 for Aries. The question is, can Arturo Chavez download some information, do a little bit better in the second? Well, of course he can, Kerry. He's a Mexican, not a Mexican. I have faith in this man's ability to get in. And again, in a fight like this, Arturo Chavez only needs one opportunity, one shot to completely change the complexity of a fight. He could be losing at nauseum for three rounds and then in the final second pull something out. 100% and as we saw in the Green Hill replay, one of that that overhand right actually could have done it. We now see this is the game that Aries is going to play. He wants to stand on the outside, pepper his opponents. We're going to find out in just a couple of seconds if he continues that in the second round, tries to employ his judo or tries an entirely different tack. Seconds out now, we've got the warning. Corners are being asked to exit the ring immediately. And right now, I fully expect Tycoon Kim to implement the same kind of game plan. I would like to see Chavez turn it up just a little bit more, try and throw a greater frequency of strikes, maybe throw in some combinations, as opposed to just trying to find that one header quitter punch, Carrick. Indeed, Phil, indeed. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, second round. Let's see if Arturo Chavez can make the necessary adjustments to try and work on the inside without the clinch being initiated. Spinning back kick from the Mexican. Phil, I think Aries may want to land a spin kick. Landing two spinning kicks on a Korean, a little bit of a diss right there. Arturo Chavez, of course, has been training at All-Star alongside GBG Gym in Gothenburg with the likes of Zvonimir Kral, with the likes of Anton Tokali. Just as we say that, he shoots in. Beautiful sprawl by the Korean. Could be trying to set up a Darce right here if he rolls potential for an Anaconda choke. Anaconda choke being set up. Not there yet. It's getting close now. Rolls down. Denied. Try to slip down onto his own backside for the Dars. May change up the grip for the likes of a Barabo or a Ninja Choke. But Arturo Chavez, as we know, never been finished in his career. Incredibly tough, incredibly durable. Gets back to his feet. Doing so, lands some punches to the body. He is an incredible fighter, Phil. He tires people out by having him try and tap him, by having him hit him. Again, shot from Arturo Chavez denied by Tycoon Kim and again Arturo Chavez leaving the neck end for Tycoon Kim to capitalize on can't allow Tycoon Kim to link up those hands Kyun Kim switches to the overhand whizzer on his left side using it as a means of control catches Chavez with the knee just as they get up Phil those hips of Tycoon Kim on the two Denials of takedowns that we saw were really incredible. That was smooth, that was fast. As I said, I expect this fight to stay standing almost the entire duration. Uh, at the moment, it seems like the fight will stay standing just for as long as Tycoon Kim wants it to. Of course, a South Korean national judo champion does have that clinch, trip, and takedown game in his arsenal. But right now, happy just to land those big shots against Chavez. Chavez trying to land 
strikes on Kyun Kim, but it really does seem that Tai Kyun Kim does have the measure of the distance in this fight, Kirik. Phil, I am loving Chavez's little tiny head movement when he gets caught up against the fence. He rolls with the punches when he's stuck on that fence. If he's off the fence, he uses his feet to get him out. But when that butt is pushed up against the fence, he still uses that head movement just slightly to take the sting off those outside shots. That was That's one of the downsides of striking from the outside. Your, parent, your, fight, your opponent can see it coming, and he can often, if he's experienced enough, which we're seeing here, roll with it. That was a huge lead kick to the body from Arturo Chavez. But Tycoon Kim now seems to have switched to the southpaw position and is fighting the southpaw at his own game, which is going to be a little bit disruptive for Arturo Chavez. Artur Arturo has seen it all at this point. Southpaw, orthodox, jiu-jitsu fighters, wrestling fighters, taekwondo fighters. He has seen it all. I don't believe he's going to be too surprised. I do think he's taken a lot of leather but nothing clean yet. Trying to set up a knockout shot from way far on the outside against an opponent whose condition is extremely difficult. Again, just a slight change of levels there from Tycoon Kim, digs in for the underhook and denies the takedown. Both men look very calm, very collected. Tycoon Kim, again, getting that beautiful pity pat, lengthy striking off. Aries trying to sneak in a little bit closer before launching those hands, but when you do, as you saw, you're vulnerable to a counter. Jumping knee there from Tycoon Kim lands more on the forearms. And it seems that Chavez is just having a little bit of trouble trying to get inside and land on Tycoon Kim. This isn't a game of inches, Phil. It's a game of, of less than an inch. You stay an inch on the outside, your opponent sees your shot coming. Stay an inch on the inside when you're the taller fighter, and you get hit. It's, it's a... It's a precipice he's walking on. Chavez trying to circle now, trying to find angles for himself, but Tycoon Kim seems to incrementally be raising that pressure, be putting a little bit more pressure on Arturo Chavez. He just marches him down, and because he's so good at distance management, he can just slip ever so slightly, as you say. Th that game of inches can slip just outside the punching range of Chavez and come back with counters of his own. There we're seeing it coming off beautifully. Big knee to the he's head. It up. There you see that pressure being Aries landed. maybe looking for a finish. And he's got him in the clinch. He's landing big knees. Arturo Chavez showing his durability. But there's not a lot more that Chavez can take of this kind of pressure. But Chavez firing by. Round ends, Phil. Woo! Just inside the clinch, you saw Tycoon came with the plum clinch, pulling the head down, firing those knees. Admittedly, I think most of them did land on the forearms of Arturo Chavez, but still beautiful shots. Arturo Chavez never been stopped, but that was Aries' best attempt so far. Oh, Tiki Larkin's called it! It's over in the second round. Our Arturo Chavez unanswered, to, unable to answer the bell for the third round. His corner say no mass. Tycoon Kim becomes the first man to finish Arturo Chavez. And this is absolutely huge in the career of Tycoon Kim. I think that I'm not sure whether it was the doctor or whether it was the corner of Arturo Chavez who called the fight. I'm sure, given the opportunity, he would want to fight on, but those knees at the end, Carrick, must have been the strikes that caused the cumulative damage, which forced either the referee or the doctor to cause the stoppage in this fight. Absolutely, Phil. Of course, there's a number of ways a fight can be stopped. Could have been a corner stoppage. They may have seen something in his fighter's gait when he came walking back. To the, to the corner, they know his heart is as big as the world, is as big as Mexico. They know he wasn't going to stop in his own. They may have stopped it. It could also be an injury. I would not be surprised if the fighter got injured during the course of this fight. There you see Arturo El Moreno Chavez just in the corner. You can see he's cognitive. You can see he's responsive, but... The pressure game of Aries Tycoon Kim ultimately proved to be that little bit too much for the Mexican fighter. Chavez standing under his own control. We're always very, very happy to see that. 
I would not be surprised if he suffered a broken cheekbone during this fight. I think potentially you could even be looking at a broken arm from the shots that landed there in the clinch. Now for the official decision to make it a little bit clearer for us, Carlos Kramer. All right, Brave Nation, another classic battle in the Brave 43 cage. After the second round, we have a corner stoppage, resulting in your winner, Aries Tai Kun Kim. There you have the clarification of the stoppage, the corner of Arturo Chavez doing what's best for their fighter, keeping him safe, making sure that he can perhaps give it up today and come back another day to fight. Huge win for Tycoon Kim, who runs his professional record to 7-0 with five wins coming by way of stoppage. Brave Nation, what you just saw in the Brave Combat Federation cage is something we should see much, much more. Mixed martial arts needs more corners who are brave enough to stop a fight when they think their fighter should not be taking any more punishment. A fighter is not gonna stop on his own, and unbeknownst to many, the corner works for the fighter, not the other way around. This was a great moment for the sport. Arturo Chavez can go on and fight in another 30 days. Excellent, huge respect goes out to the corner of Arturo Chavez, and of course, to Tycoon Kim for an incredible an incredible win. He's pushed his record to 6-0. If you include two amateur wins, he is now 9-0. That is a monster streak in this sport. We're now finalizing the virtual interview that we're doing because of the COVID-19 global pandemic. We're going to be starting in several seconds, just about now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by a victorious Tai Kyun Kim, who has just defeated Arturo Chavez by a second round stoppage. How do you feel, sir? Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, uh, she said, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you for calling in the big contest, and I'm glad to win. Uh, too many opponents changed before this match. Uh, so it's as if I played several games at once. Wouldn't that be enough to get a title match? Brave, give me a champion title. Thank you very much. Okay. <coughs> Now, one thing I want to ask you, was Arturo as tough as you expected? Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't know about that. Sorry. Uh. No worries. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. there you have it, a victorious Tycoon Kim. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.